The Escondido Farmers Market, where ABC 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry is joining us as we continue our week-long series, Life in Escondido. Hi, Megan. And I feel so lucky to be out here today. I actually took an opportunity to go walk around some of the booths here that are here today. There are Persian cookies, which are absolutely delicious. I actually tried fresh milk, which I've never had before. It definitely tastes cleaner and more crisp, I guess, than what you get at the store. And they have fresh eggs. There's plenty of vegetables and fresh fruits, of course. So if you have a chance to come out here, come out here today. If you don't, well, it happens every single Tuesday, 2.30 to 6 p.m year round. It is pretty warm and it's pretty muggy. I know that everybody's been feeling the mugginess that we've been having all this week and it's actually going to be trending straight with us through the weekend. The clouds building over the mountain areas you can see over our Mount Laguna sky cam looking quite pretty. It is really nice for photographers. If you are one, we'd love to see your pictures on our 10 News Weather Watchers Facebook page. Just a tiny bit of green showing up over Mount Laguna from our Pinpoint Doppler Live. Maybe just a few sprinkles from that system at this point. Haven't seen any thunderstorm activity today in San Diego County. A little quieter than it was yesterday, but that's what we expected. In fact, that chance for monsoon storms diminishes each day through Thursday. We're still going to be in that monsoon influence, though, so it's still going to be pretty sticky. You can see the thunderstorm activity right now farther to the north and to the south of us. Really comfortable along our coast, 68 in the Hoya right now, 80s for our inland neighborhoods, the Ramona and Alpine awfully close to 90 degrees, so it is several degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Temperatures still trending pretty close to or even a little bit below normal. Overnight tonight, those marine layer clouds will impact the coast and inland neighborhoods with temperatures only bottoming them out in the 60s. And we'll actually see decreasing clouds in the mountain and desert areas heading into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, highs in the 70s along our coastline, about 76 in Oceanside, 10 degrees warmer in Poway at 86 degrees, 89 in Ramona, 80s for the mountain and low 100s in the desert communities. So again, monsoon moisture will be weakening through Thursday and then it builds Friday through Sunday. Any thunderstorms that form, especially during that time period, heavy rain, flash flooding, hail, lightning, all of that will be possible. And while it will be feeling tropical because of the humidity, temperatures again trending near to a little bit below average for this time of the year. So Saturday and Sunday, it does look like we're going to get a surge of moisture that's going to be moving westerly enough to at least see a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms anywhere in the county that does include the coastline. But keep in mind that peak activity will be confined to the mountain communities. De um, inland neighborhoods will be in the 80s. I'm going to keep that slight chance for some activity Friday, Saturday and Sunday here. While the mountain areas, yes, there is a very outside slim chance for any thunderstorms tomorrow or Thursday. We're going to see isolated to potentially scattered activity Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Slight chance lingering into Monday and the desert areas that goes for you as well. Lindsay?